John the Ripper is a very versatile password cracker or password hash cracker. It's got a multitude of hashes that it supports and in, you can see these by typing out sudo john hyphen hyphen list equals formats. And that will show you all the hashes that is capable of cracking. And you can see there you got raw MD5, raw MD4. So it is capable of cracking a lot of hashes. And this is a particularly good command to remember as well. Because if you're in an exam and you forget how to crack like a raw MD5, and for some reason John isn't able to identify the hash, you need to be able to tell it how to crack or what hash it is going to crack and sometimes you may forget the exact wording of the type of hash that you need to tell it to crack so if you just run sudo john list hyphen formats or john hyphen hyphen list equals formats that will tell you all the available password hashes that john can crack and then when you specify the format when you're doing your crack you can do hyphen hyphen format equals raw md5 and then feed it your raw md5 hash and then it will know that it's an md5 and it will be able to crack it. John the Ripper has a number of different cracking modes. The most commonly used one in my opinion or the one that I've used the most is wordless mode and what wordless mode is is it uses a word list, uh, one that you've chosen to use to sort of compare the hash to so it would go through and it would hash the words in the word lists and compare them to the hash that you fed it to see whether they match and then that will allow you to get the correct hash or the correct password back for the hash that you've supplied now the word list it can be manually made so you could go if you're doing a pen test for an organization you could uh, create your own word list using tools like crunch where you would Use variations of things like first name dot last name and feed that into crunch based on the employees names which you've got from LinkedIn and it would generate a word list for you. Or you can just head onto the internet, go to sec lists on GitHub, they've got a great set of word lists or use rockyou.txt and then you would feed John your hash, you would tell it what word list it is you want to use and then it would go through comparing the hash to the words in the word list hashing those and then that's how it would determine the correct password single crack mode now it says on the open wall website that this is the mode that you should start cracking with um, it uses like the names uh, for names uses home directories candidate passwords uh, and it uses something called mangling now the wordless mode can use mangling too but what mangling is is it applies a rule set to the words in the word list or to the sort of methods it's trying to brute force the password and if we take a word like password it will mangle that word and add numbers to it or change it from a lower p to an upper p or change the a symbol to an at symbol or the s symbol to a five symbol and it will mangle it trying different variations of the word list until it gets a correct one so the single crack mode uses things based on the environment so the first name the home directory and it applies a full set of mangling rules to it and it tries to guess the password and it's theorized or they say here that it's faster that it should be faster cracking a whole list of passwords um, than cracking them individually because what it will also do is it will take any password that it's guessed successfully and it will attempt to use that password on other hashes as well so if you've got people within the same organizations using the same passwords then it would try that and it would be able to successfully guess it incremental mode now this is probably one of the most powerful modes there is and it's just essentially a brute force against the password hash and it will just go through incrementing from A, A, B, A, B, C, and going through numbers, characters, letters, all through the alphabet, all through the numericals, all through your character tables until it finds the correct hash. Now, as we know, as complex get, as passwords get longer and more complex, the time that it takes for it to do this will increase exponentially. Um, but you can tell it the length of the password. So if you're able to, if you know the length of the password, say 
you were able to get the password complexity requirements from group policy or something like that and you know that it has to be over eight characters but it can't be longer than 12 characters you could you could program that or, or argue that into the command so it knows when to give up or it knows not to try sort of incrementing past that number and that should greatly reduce the time but this is like a true brute force mode against a password and then you have external mode and from what i've read and from what i've understand understood of this it's where you would supply your own sort of program or your own module that you import into john it uses a substitute a subset of the c language and then john will compile that program on starter now the where i think this could be useful is if somebody's created their own sort of hashing algorithm and you want to you've written something to crack it in c and then you can import it and crack those password hashes i could be completely wrong but again I haven't really looked too much into this mode because I don't think it would be that useful for me. I mean, if they're using their own sort of custom password hashes at that point, then, you know, grats, I suppose. 